Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closing higher on Thursday as the Dow Jones, Nasdaq and S&P 500 all reaching record highs. Shares in banks, food and staples retailing and consumer durables and apparel, they were in positive territory. While on the economic docket, initial jobless claims falling 234,000 in the week ended February 4th. Continuing claims increasing to 2.08 million in the week ended January 28th. All while advancers ahead of decliners, 75% of S&P 500 constituents, they traded higher yesterday. Now after the markets closed, Activision Blizzard reporting fourth quarter adjusted EPS of 65 cents versus 25 cents last year, with net revenues of 49% year over year to $2 billion. Net income jumping 60% to $254 million. Expedia posting fourth quarter adjusted EPS of $1.17 versus 77 cents last year, with revenues of $2.09 billion. And NVIDIA reporting fourth quarter diluted EPS of 99 cents on revenue of $2.17 billion. That's up 55% year over year. Turning overseas, the Asian markets on the upside today. The Nikkei rising 2.5%. The Hang Seng up 0.2%. China CSI 300 up a little more than half a percent. And South Korea's Kospi up 0.45%. European markets in consolidation and U.S. futures calling for a flat to positive start. In terms of expectations today, Aon PLC, fourth quarter EPS seen at $2.49. Ventas, fourth quarter EPS seen at $0.43. Cents and Interpublic Group, fourth quarter EPS, seen at 67 cents. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 sees the upside prevail, even though the continuation of the consolidation for the S&P 500 cannot be ruled out, the extent should be limited. Long positions above 22.96 are favored with targets at 23.11 and 23.16 in extension. The Nasdaq sees the upside prevail, preferring long positions above 51.91, and the Dow Jones sees the upside prevail as well, preferring long positions above 20,000 88.